Hello, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating some uh, meters uh, getting from uh, Wing uh, and I'm going to be using uh, two oscillators available in the uh, Wing console as input data. Um, one is connected to uh, uh, channel 1 and the other oscillator is connected to channel 40 and two channels are going to be used in the demo. Uh, the oscillators are currently muted um, and uh, they have also uh, two different levels, um, one being at uh, minus 13 and the other one at minus 6 dB, uh, respectively. Uh, so let's unmute uh, those um, uh, meters and uh, see what signals we have. So obviously when you play with a, uh, a fader, it doesn't change anything on the meter itself from the fader because those meters are showing pre-fader uh, data. But obviously this has an impact on the output. Um, and uh, there's a small program that I wrote actually showing this. Um, and we are going to use, after we connect, um, two, um, two meters. The first one is showing the input and the output of channel 1, so pre and post fader. And the second one is showing only the post fader output, um, so from uh, channel 40. So this is the rightmost um, fader meter, which is shown here. As I move the fader, it actually moves. Same thing for channel 1, uh, of course, only on the output. Um, so this is uh, actually quite responsive. As you can see, there is some flickering of the, uh, the data because this is coming from uh, pink noise. Uh, so we can have something that moves, otherwise it will be very static. And uh, let's look at uh, the same thing when I actually move the, f the, the fader. So this is fader for channel 1. Um, and you can see that uh, the, the meter actually reacts as uh, the fader moves. I can do the same thing on channel 40. Unfortunately, the fader is away from the camera, but that's, uh, you got the principle. So I'm currently uh, totally up and uh, fully down or middle, you know, uh, with the fader. Um, interestingly, um, we can also exit the program by just clicking connect uh, again and um, looking at the code. There are actually very few lines of code needed for doing this uh, using WAPI. Um, the first line is, of course, to connect to the wing, um, and it finds automatically the IP address of the console. Then there is one line to say, you know, where you want the uh, the meter data to go to uh, in terms of UDP. A third line to declare what type of fader you want, and this is uh, declared as a uh, an array of bits. Each bit represents one family of faders. Uh, and you can get a lot of faders from the, um, the, the, the wing console, really a lot. And uh, once you have this set up every 50 milliseconds for a period of about 5 seconds, you will receive uh, some data for the, uh, the channels and the meters that you've been requ requested. Requesting, sorry. Um, you have to renew this every uh, 5 seconds or less um, to actually uh, get the, uh, the fader on a continuous way. Uh, and what is in blue right now is just a small program to display the, uh, the meter itself. By no way it is something correct and accurate. It's just a demo. Okay? Thank you a lot. Bye-bye.